Vanquish. God Hard, No Death, and Max Time Bonus. This is 2-4, it's called Struggle. So at the beginning you want to immediately pick up the lock-on laser, and from there we're going to do some boosting. So uh, I've recently read on, uh, I think it's Reuters Steam Tips list or something, uh, it was a, a document that's been made to give people some, some advice and some tips on how to play Vanquish. Look at this by the way, Jesus. And watch how quickly this massive death screen goes away. See that? That doesn't happen on console. On console, that screen is up there until after you've regenerated all of your your uh, energy bar at the bottom there so that you can actually boost again. And then it continues for a little bit longer. One of the advantages to the damage glitch is the higher frame rate on this game makes you heal faster. So it's, it's actually pretty awesome, I think. it's. I don't mind the damage too much when I heal quickly like that on those, uh, those big damage moments. But if I was on console there, I would have had to have hide because it would have taken consistently longer. But apparently the method that I was doing there with the lock-on laser is called boost clapping, or I think it was, was it boost clapping? It might be boost tapping, but I think it was boost clapping, which is the name. And uh, it means when you do a boost where he does the kind of crazy capoeira kicks and then stands up afterwards, where you just tap boost and he does it. Apparently that move lowers Sam's hitbox, and it also gives him some iframes. It's a move that I've used a lot, and I always use it with the lock-on laser because you can seemingly not get shot while you were... Uh, can charge the lock-on laser to max effect. So all I was doing then, if you're wanting to emulate it and you can't quite figure it out for whatever reason, is I was holding the trigger and just tapping boost. And I was just getting the shots off, releasing the trigger, getting the shots off and just charging and uh, repeating ad nauseum. But once everything is dead, we're gonna use a cigarette. We're gonna boost all the way up to this barrier here. We're gonna use a second cigarette. You're gonna start getting shot here, it gets a bit scary. But I got lucky and I'm gonna boost all the way up to this building and then this is when things get really crazy. So by the time you get inside here, the cigarette's gonna wear off, so throw an EMP, get to the top of this, there's a sniper, there's two enemies that definitely know who you are, and get out of dodge. And then at the top of here, you'll get a checkpoint. There is a trick in this game that can help you if you don't want any of the enemies you run past to come from behind and hurt you. If you restart checkpoint after you get a checkpoint, it will populate the enemies afresh, and those people behind you won't be there anymore. So, if for whatever reason you start getting challenged while you're trying to get through this next section, you can do that. But instead, I'm going to use another cigarette, and I'm going to boost through this entire area. And you'll notice I start getting shot just then. So however long from when I started my cigarette to there is how long you have immunity for. That's a pretty long time in the grand scheme of Vanquish, so you need to use them. And I mentioned people coming from behind, because look at my map. My map right now is terrifying. I know that there is a lot of enemies between me and the end of this level, and I also now know there's a lot of them behind me. So, I was playing at this point with max volume, wearing Astro A40s, listening to everything I could, I was checking my map, I was staying behind this cover to shoot this guy, and somebody's gonna sneak up on me. And I think it's one of them coming now. No, it's not. Wait for it, I'm gonna get punched. And the, the thing with the punch in this game is, sometimes it instantly kills you, and sometimes it doesn't. And there doesn't seem to be any consistency with it. I have been killed by a red gorgi in one melee hit, and just then I survived it. It put me to maximum critical, but there are times where that would have killed me. And I'm not entirely sure how that works, but you're going to notice I'm very nervous now, because I'm cognizant that more people will come from behind, even though he might not have come from behind, I don't know. But I think he... Did you see that just then? That was an, a buddy of mine going past the camera. Boom, reflex triggered, get the hell out of there. Panicked, but... From this point onwards, nobody else comes, I don't think, from, from the back. There might be one or two dudes. Yeah, this guy here. And I think the reason that that guy is there is because the NPC's pushed up as well. So when your allies turn up, I think it makes them a little bit more frisky. They want to get their uh, get game face on and, you know, molest you. But take out the turret guy. And at this moment in time, we've used all our cigarettes, so I can't do any of the sneaky tricks that you've seen me do so fast. We have to play a little bit more honest. But the good news is, there's not too much left of this level, so we can still be quite aggressive and we can get through it. And because of the way that we handled those last two situations, it guarantees that we're way ahead of the time bonus. So we don't have to worry about time because we've already done some, some sneaky techniques to get through it really quickly. And as you approach here, do not enter the room. There's about three of these guys. One of them is gold. The gold gorgie is a massive douchebag. He can sometimes take two shotgun blasts, depending on the spread and if you get a crit on him. And then hit this switch, and then this is going to populate the world just below us with a ton of bad guys. And shooting them is kind of tricky here, because you don't have the best cover, and of course their accuracy is off the charts. But they're just going to be down there, and there's quite a lot of them, so nothing to take cover on and look to the left. You're going to have to peek out. I took a couple of grenades, because I'm not worried about keeping resources. 
Another technique for people who are having problems with ammunition. Uh, if you want to get a specific drop from a weapon, and you're not bothering about the no deaths, you just want to get through God hard and, and do what you can and maybe carry a rocket launcher into a tough enemy or a tough fight, you can just restart checkpoint and then reopen boxes because the drops are random. So you can haul checkpoints and you can get yourself the weapons that you want. Additionally to this, if you're having trouble on a level because at the beginning you didn't have any gear or equipment and you end up pushing through it and it's really really tough and you just wish you could restart, if you go to the mission menu and you pick the menu again, you will be started with a heavy machine gun with full ammo, you'll be started with an assault rifle with full ammo, a shotgun with full ammo, and you will have a full stack of both grenades. And you can do that at any time. And I recommend it too because if you're going for no death and time score, if you get to the end and you don't get the, the correct amount of time, the game checkpoints, and you have to play the rest of the game, so there's nothing else you can do. So as much as I would have liked to have done this as one seamless video after video after video after video, if you complete it and it saves, you can't go back, you have to do mission select. So, unless you're backing up your save and doing something fancy on PC, which I, in all honesty, don't know how to do, um, I can't imagine that that's going to be uh, too easy to do unless you're you quit before you're ahead or something, or, or you time yourself, like how would you even know? Maybe you've just played way more of the game than I have, but there it was, 6 minutes 7 seconds, plus 5,000 time bonus, thank you very much for watching, and you take care now.